Hello Aquarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I'm checking into your love life Aquarius. Let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Oh, somebody is feeling like a complete and utter idiot. Um, I feel like um, there's a karmic that's being watched. She's doing everything she can to keep a masculine where they are. This is definitely karmic energy, okay? Um, this one, went, yeah, but she's pretending like, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like, you know what? She's hiding a secret. Um, she's got someone new on the side that she's pretending that she doesn't have. I feel like your, your person may have been suspicious of her, so she could have even put them under some kind of spell work or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. She's done a lot. Okay, I feel like she's done a lot of spell work. She's been cheating. There's two straws in this cup, and the word two is over here. And she's, she's playing dumb. She's pretending like, no, um, I'm an angel. But a spirit is seeing everything, okay? Yeah, I feel like there's a, um, this is also exposure. This is like the judgment card in this deck. It's also exposure. So whatever she's trying to hide here, it's, it's about to be exposed. And um, I'm positive it's somebody else, okay? Definitely cheating. She's definitely cheating on your person. You could have called this out, Collective. You could have said something about this because you're extremely intuitive. I feel like Spirit is shining the light down for you. So you're, you're about to find this out. I feel like you might witness something here. A fight that goes down or the truth being exposed. Uh, I feel like um, this karmic is jealous of you as well. You're, um, you could be in the public eye doing something just kind of floating in your life right now, you know, starting to try new things, starting a new cycle, feeling really good, not really knowing what's coming towards you though, okay? You see what I'm saying? And it, because it's because you have faith. You have faith that you're protected. You have faith that good things are coming to you, okay? So you're out here just kind of shining, doing your thing, Okay, it's driving somebody crazy. I, uh, oh, you're stopping traffic out here. Um, I feel like you're driving a lot of people crazy. What do you have a lot of attention right now that you're getting? Um, oh, that's what it is. Oh, collective. There's somebody who um, has been watching you like a hawk. Okay, and I feel like it's a friend of your person's. I've picked this up in my readings a couple of times before. This friend that your person knows, they want to come towards you with some kind of love offer. They want to date you, okay? And your person is getting kind of upset about that. I kind of get the sense that um, they're jealous, they're envious, uh, because they're not free from this karmic yet. She's doing everything she can to keep them there, but they do not want this masculine, this other masculine to come towards you. And they've, I, I feel like in watching you and obsessing over you, they've like turned other people onto you. You know what I'm saying? They've uh, attracted the attention of others towards you. So um, now they're getting jealous, okay? Their friends want to date you. You're out here just in this beautiful energy, very confident, healthy, strong, beautiful. You could have, um, you could be like revealing yourself here. Like, I, I mean, like a re revealing a change about you, a new you, okay? I feel like you've completely reinvented yourself. And as you show it to the world, um, it's driving people crazy, okay? You're really turning heads. Look at people staring at you, people stopping in their cars to look at you. You're stopping traffic. You're getting a lot of attention. You're beautiful. Okay, you're radiating this beautiful, high-vibing, confident energy. And it's attracted this masculine's friend. Okay, so things are starting to heat up. Okay, <laughs> Things are heating up. Yeah, you're out here happy, skilled at what you do. Um, 
Yeah, and this karmic is jealous of you, angry. Um, I feel like she's she's wanting to start a fight. I feel like she wants to fight you, collective, okay? She's really mad because your person, she knows your person is jealous and angry. They're walking around angry at their friend because their friend wants to come in and make you a love offer. All right? And this karmic knows that that's what they're, that's, <laughs> your masculine is really upset about this. Um, the karma can see this. She's getting angry with you. And you don't have anything to do with the situation. You're just out here on a glow up, doing your thing. Um, you could be like into physical fitness. Uh, you could be into health care. You could be into like something dietary, okay? You could be um, a dentist. Uh, um, what do they call them? Um, orth uh, what is it? Ortho? Is that what it is? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is that you're doing out here. You could be an entertainer. You could, you could have your own public platform. You could be an instructor of something, a teacher. It's driving this karmic crazy, okay? It's driving her absolutely crazy. I feel like she has sent you some bad juju, whether she's been, like, um, doing her own spell work or what. But all of that bad energy is coming back on her. It just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, I feel like she has done some spell work. This just fell on the floor. That's candle magic, you guys. Okay, but um, if she's done any spell work on you, it's coming back on her. She's suffering from headaches. She's losing her temper. She, um, she's having a hard time keeping her secret of cheating. Not that it really matters, though, because your masculine wants you anyway. <laughs> you know, for real. Um, and spirit is just watching all of this, okay? Watching everything that she does. She, um... Any spell work that she sends you is immediately sent back to her, and you have a win every single time. This is how much she sent you bad energy. Every medal on your shirt, I feel. Um, you have a win every time she does this. And it's driving her nutty. You just keep getting better and better. You know, you could have started a project, like, from nothing, okay? Okay had a creative idea, um, doing something that you were passionate about, right? Um, maybe you just, it was a, a real humble start to something. And now you could have, you could have expanded. You could have your own studio. You know, let's just say you were doing like yoga instruction. Let's just you know, I mean, it's just an example, right? You could be a yoga instructor and you could be, you could have started your own website or your own YouTube channel from your backyard, okay? And now all of a sudden you're so popular and it could be going viral here um, to the point where now you've grown so much that you can buy your own studio. It's something like that. Like you continue to grow and, it, and she can't stand it. Okay, this karmic absolutely hates you. But here's the thing. She's got someone else behind the scenes, you guys. She's, she's already got um, somebody new here. This is a, a soulmate connection. Or I would consider it like a two of cups card that she's trying to hide. So this connection, I feel like it should have ended a long time ago. This is the death card. It's over, you know? And I hope she didn't send any death spells towards you because all of her spell work is coming back on her. All right, so what else can you show me for my beautiful collective? Yeah, she's embarrassed. She's embarrassed. She feels like a fool because nothing she has done has worked. You only keep getting better. Um, she could have, like, talked down on you, like, criticized you, laughed at you, laughed at your ideas. You know, when you started this project, she could have been laughing. 
She's not laughing anymore. You're growing. You're expanding. Whatever this is that you're doing is making you happy and bringing you a lot of abundance and success and attention from other people. And the attention that you're getting from other people is driving this masculine crazy. And she knows it. I mean, it's just like, I hope you guys can follow all of this because it's, it really is a mess. Like she, and, but she's creating this mess for herself. You know, I feel like, yeah, look, your masculine is mad. They're mad, right? Because you've got, you've got other people's attention. Other people want to give you love offers now, including their own friends. You got this karmic mad and upset. Look, they're both angry about whatever it is that you're doing, okay? <laughs> whatever you're doing, Collective, has these people mad, all right? Well, maybe they need to focus on their own life, you know? If they put this much attention into their own life, it, they wouldn't be in this kind of a mess, okay? <sighs> but your masculine is jealous, angry. Oh, my gosh. And this is why. Because they know. Look, it's rain and men, right? Yes. I'm telling you, um, you're <laughs> it's going to be raining men for you, okay? Um, a lot of new suitors are about to approach you, wanting to date, wanting to court you, okay, um, including their friends. This could be, a, a, this could be a, um, uh, several friends that want to come in and, and, and date you. You're literally turning heads out here. You're, getting, you're attracting the attention of a lot of people, and you may not be aware of it because you're just happy doing what you're doing. You know, you're happy, you're satisfied, you're not looking for love right now. You're, um, you're, just, you're just doing what you do, what you love to do, okay? And that's what you're sinking your focus into. Um, yeah, and because of that, because of where you're putting your attention um, and staying high vibing, you're really succeeding out here. And these people are like losing their minds, okay? Both of them. <laughs> yeah, you could have your, you could have your own public platform, being seen around the world. And look at how you're shining. Look at the smile on your face. It, the doing this makes you feel young, youthful. Um, it, it's you're passionate about it. Uh, you love what you're doing. It makes you laugh. It makes you, it makes you feel good. You know. And this public platform that you've got, um, I feel like it's uh, definitely on the internet. You could have your own YouTube channel, your own website, blog, vlog, whatever. Um, you could be just like on several social media sites. I don't know. But uh, people are loving you. Okay. Especially these men. All these men lined up? Yeah. Oh, they love you. Oh, <laughs> they love you. <laughs> oh, it's making your person... Um, it's making them panic, okay? <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, they're climbing the walls, collective. Okay, they're climbing the walls. And they don't want to be around this karmic anymore. They don't even know she's cheating yet, okay? They don't even know. You know why? Because this masculine is just obsessed about what you're doing and who's coming towards you to date you, okay? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, I love tarot. I got to say, um, your person could possibly be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm feeling a lot of earth energy. They're really trying hard to remain grounded and stable. They're trying, but this is somebody who they're feeling that pressure, okay? <laughs> they're feeling that pressure and they're ready to pop, man. I'm telling you, um, uh, their anger, their jealousy, um, it's all bubbling to the surface, all right? All right, how is this person feeling? How is this masculine feeling? But they're trying to remain grounded and stable. They're trying to look as if, you know, they're okay, but they're not okay. 
Yeah, they're getting very discouraged, okay, because you're about to get approached by a lot of new people. You're going to have options in love, collective, and in empress energy, no less. So you're, um, you're attracting um, new things to you by the minute, every day, okay, every day. You may not even be aware of it, okay, because you're just doing you. Yeah, this person is going to be crying over you. They're very regretful. They're very regretful for the choices they made. Uh, they could be looking at old photos of you. They're definitely watching whatever you're doing on the Internet, okay? If you have a business, which it looks like you do, um, they're watching you work. If, if it's not a business, they're watching you just post on Facebook or social media. Yeah, falling into a deep depression. Yeah, and look, what I see is that stress, that pressure that I was talking about simmering to the surface. All right, how else is this person feeling? Because they know that you're, they're about to lose you. You're about to start dating other people. And it's going to be, some of them are people that they know. <laughs> So they're going to be reminded of this, too, every day. Oh, my gosh. And they're with a, a karmic that's losing her mind, angry, completely focused on bringing you down or, or hiding their secrets. How is this person feeling? Ashamed. They're ashamed. Um, I feel like they want to, this person, maybe they've tried to text you before and they'll like, um, they'll like type out a text message and then they'll delete it. Um, they'll try to write you a letter and then they'll crumple it up. Okay. Um, and I feel like what they're doing now is kind of listening to some sad music, uh, whatever music this person has on. It's, it, it's making them cry. It's making them mope. They're totally unhappy. They know that this friend is going to come towards you and sweep you off your feet. Um, this person, oh my gosh. They're feeling very ashamed too at um, how they treated you. This karmic is breathing down their neck, asking them 20 questions. They're acting like this around the karmic. Crying in a corner, okay? Knowing they're about to lose you, not knowing what to do to stop that from happening, not um, feeling panicked and sad and depressed and scared all at the same time. And this karmic is like, what's wrong with you? I know you're thinking about the collective, right? <laughs> right? I know you're thinking about the collective. Yeah, that's what's going on this weekend. It's a mess, and this person does feel ashamed, okay? Yeah, look. Look at this. They know you're going to get with someone new. They just don't know which one of their friends it's going to be. <laughs> you know? You got all these people lining up. They know you're going to get with someone new. They just don't know who. They don't know when. They're trying to keep track of all of the people who want you right now. I feel like there's multiple friends of theirs that want to date you, okay? <coughs> they're jealous. They're suspicious of everyone. <laughs> they're, I feel like they're watching you. They could even be, like, driving past your house, um, seeing if anybody's in the driveway, are any of their friends' cars parked along the street? Like, it's that kind of thing. They're really trying to keep a watchful eye over you, but they know. They know that you're going to get with someone. They just don't know which one of their friends it's going to be, or who it's going to be, or when, or how, or where. It's driving this person crazy. They're both going crazy over you. Okay, they are, yeah. And there's that panicked energy. There's that angry, jealous, wanting to fight somebody energy. That's, that's what this is right here. See, it's a friend, but look at how they're balling up their fists. Okay, they can't stand it. It's making this person, um, they're having panic attacks, anxiety attacks, 
punching walls, breaking stuff, feeling ashamed, crying in a corner, um, having to deal with this karmic who wants revenge on you and, <laughs> you know, um, who's going crazy over you. Oh, my gosh. This is what's going on in the background with your person this weekend. Okay, this is like current energy. All right. They're worried, they're overwhelmed, and they're stuck with a karmic. Okay? They're scared. They don't know what to do to stop this from happening. You know, they don't want anyone to get with you. But they're stuck with a crazy karmic who's hating on you big time. They're, they're feeling broken. Okay? They're feeling broken. Let's see what they want to say. What does this person want to say? I never expected to fall in love. The universe is fighting for our souls to be together. Yeah, the, see, this is, this is what they want to say, but um, I, I don't think you feel the same way about this situation. I know I hurt you. I don't want to hurt you again. You are so beautiful inside and out. Yeah, and they, they see it and everybody else sees it too. Uh, I see, I'm secretly obsessed about you or obsessed with you. Sorry. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. Yeah, see, they're feeling panic. They know they, they feel like they need to do something really fast. Because there's no time left. You, you are literally like within the next, probably within the next few days or week, um, you may get this love offer from their friend or from anybody else. I feel like you're, you're out here, right? You're showing yourself. Um, you're putting yourself out there maybe on the dating scene. I don't know. But um, you're attracting a lot of attention to yourself, even if you're not aware of it. I think about you so much, it's scaring me. I'm afraid of hurting you. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. That's this karmic. We need to let each other go. Yeah, you know what? I feel like that's what you're saying. We need to let each other go. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. Maybe we are better off separated. They, they do regret this. And they feel like after everything that this person has put you through, you know, almost anybody would, they, they know you're thinking almost anybody would be a better choice than what they put you through, right? So they're feeling like whoever's coming in to court you next is somebody that they already can't compete with because of what they've done. Okay, because of what they've done. So they feel like they just can't compete. Like maybe you are better off with someone else because they, you're not going to have that kind of painful history with someone, with someone new. You know what I'm saying? They really regret how they treated you in the past. Yeah, I sabotage this connection and I regret it. That's what they're saying. Anyway, collective, that's what I've got for this reading. Just get ready. Get ready for your um, love life to be like crazy, okay? Um, and some of these people that are approaching you are going to be friends of your persons. All right, just so you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs>